Good morning, good morning. It is hair day, which means that I'm going to spend the next probably four to five hours sat in the hairdressing chair. It's not something that us ladies look forward to, but it's just something that needs to be done. Um, I'm a bit early, so I've just popped into one of my favorite cookie places. It's called Dang, just to grab a cookie and a coffee for when I'm sat in the hairdressers. Um, I'm going back to half head highlights because full head highlights is quite high maintenance um, and it's quite expensive. And I've been doing full head for the past couple of sessions that I've been going, so I'm going to go back to half head now. Um, and I'm well overdue a haircut. My hair is so incredibly long. I can't remember the last time I got it cut. It's crazy. So yeah, let's go and get our hair done. actually i'm very very happy i chopped so much of it off because so much of my hair was dead you know i mentioned before that my hair had been like shedding and falling out i think a lot of i think a lot of that was to do with the fact that my hair was just dead at the end so chopped a lot of it off feels so much better fresher lighter i'm very happy okay it's much later in the day now i'm making pesto chicken with this ratatouille i found this tin ratatouille recently and it's really really good it saves you like buying all the vegetables cutting them up that kind of thing yeah it's like a lazy way out but it's actually really, really good so adds a lot of flavor to the dish and i've got some wedges and the air fryer should be done soon look how good that looks honestly it smells incredible i've never even knew that tinned ratatouille was a thing it's so yummy when you're like hormonal and do your period everything just swells i just look really puffy i just got back from the supermarket i had a nice little coffee while i was there um i thought i would do a grocery haul because i haven't done one of those in what feels like years i got these mini magnums i love having these in the freezer whenever i get a sugar craving magnums some chicken and some steak sweet potato fries i got sourdough I talked about these before, but this is ratatouille in a can and it's changed my life. It's so, so delicious. And it's just really, really easy. Kidney beans. Right, these are my favorite biscuits. They're called Slay Ole. Slay Ole. They're basically like Indo version of jammy dodgers that we have in the UK. And then these Roma biscuits, they always give these at one of my favorite coffee shops they give these biscuits on the side with my coffee and i'm always like what is that biscuit so then i found out that it's these and now i have them unlimited i got some oat side oat milk coke zero because i'm an addict i got baby bell cheese nothing changes some toothpaste and shampoo just a few basic things nothing too crazy i'm gonna put all this away and then i have to clean this house it is really quite a mess right now. I think because I've been here alone, so I've just kind of <laughs> let loose a little bit. The house really needs a good tidy up, so I'm gonna do that.
So I just had two back-to-back -back clients that I'm helping with social media consulting and I think what I'm realizing is that so many of us have skills that others could learn from or maybe we know things or we have work in a certain niche and we have a lot of knowledge about that area of work. But we don't realize how valuable that information is that we have to other people. I think we just assume like oh everyone knows this but they really don't and I think that's what I'm finding so rewarding about this is that I've been working in this like digital marketing social media world now for like the past 10 years and there's so much knowledge that I've accumulated over that time by you know actually doing it myself and working in that area for other companies um, and there's so much information that I can relay to other people. I just love seeing my clients faces light up and uh, feeling motivated from these kind of strategies that we're building for them to grow their social media. I got a few questions about my keyboard and mouse situation. These are from Logitech. I think they're so cute. We got them in pink for Christmas. Yeah, if you're looking for a separate mouse and keyboard situation for your desk, um, I think Logitech has some really really nice ones. I would say I probably spend about 80% of my day on the laptop but the rest of the time I spend actually like creating the content. Editing takes a really really long time so if I'm editing for like Reels, TikTok and YouTube. Today I need to get this edit done for my trip that I did to Komodo Islands. Um, I need to write a blog post about it. I'm also making this TikTok. What I love about short form content now is that it can be reused. So you can make a TikTok video, but you can also repost it to YouTube Shorts and Instagram Reels. But yeah, I use CapCut to edit my short form videos. If you're wondering, highly recommend CapCut. It's really easy to use. I think they also have a desktop version. But yeah, I'm kind of just combining all these clips from Komodo Islands and then I'm gonna do a voiceover, which I haven't written yet. So um, I need to go ahead and do that. My boyfriend just got back from Singapore and he bought back um, some of the Batcha chocolate coffee, which I absolutely love. Let's go make some. I picked up some of this the other day from the supermarkets. Spinach noodles, I've never had this before, but I thought it would be a really nice replacement for ordinary noodles, because sometimes they can get quite heavy. So I'm excited to try these. So this is the Batcha coffee. It just says Tolteca chocolate flavor. It says it's like really luxurious. I really recommend just going there for like a tea time experience. It's one of my favorites. And the interiors there really does feel like you're in Morocco. They've done a really nice job of it. Cause baby like A very late in the day coffee had a carrot cake and went to this new place called low fire hadn't been there before but I really like the place and I think I'll definitely go back do some work there or work from there I think it's a really nice space to do that but only 10 minutes from that place is the beach so I like this road because you can actually walk down this road this is a really nice one for walking so I'm gonna head to the beach um, maybe catch the sunset we'll see. It's all dinner at our friend's house tonight. They are cooking um, and we're going to pick up some gelato for us all to have for dessert. This is the best gelato place in Changi. Mm -hmm.
just got back from um, the coffee shop. I felt like my brain just wasn't functioning this morning, so I needed to go out, have a coffee, and now I just feel like my mind is working. Um, I went to Copenhagen Bakery. I feel like I've tried all the coffee on this island, or at least all the coffee shops in Changu. Copenhagen, to me, does the best coffee hands down. Their iced lattes cannot be beaten. They just started doing a this ham and cheese panini, and ham and cheese toasty is like one of my favorite foods, and they've put sauerkraut and mustard in it as well. I love sour foods, so like sour um, sweets, sour savory things like sauerkraut, pickles, like anything like salt and vinegary, I just absolutely love it. So um, yeah, they just started selling this toasty, and I was like, this is my favorite food, my favorite coffee, and I love that place. Last night was really fun. Went to dinner at um, our friend's house. We had a lovely time. They've actually just moved into a bigger villa and it's making me think like what's next because my lease here is up in, I think it's June or July. We signed for a year, so that lease is up in June. But just thinking about what's next because I don't really think that I want to extend at this particular villa. As lovely as it is, there's lots of things that are not quite right with it. Um, and so I'm thinking about what the next space is going to look like. I also really think that I want to switch to a monthly lease instead of a yearly lease so that then I have a bit more flexibility if maybe a few months down the line I decide that I've had enough of Bali and maybe I want to go somewhere else. So something I'm definitely considering at the moment, but it was really nice seeing other people's places. I love seeing other people's places. I'm really nosy, but kind of seeing what you can get for your money here. So yeah, that's something to consider for the next few months. Um, I just wanted to hop on because I really wanted to talk to you ladies. If you're a guy, stop watching. <laughs> but ladies, if you are an endometriosis, or PCOS girly, I wanted to share something with you that's kind of like changing my life. So if you've followed me for years now, you'll know that I've suffered with horrendous periods my whole life. Fainting, vomiting, the worst pain in the world, like just truly excruciating periods. Um, and so my mum and dad went to India a couple of months ago and then they came to visit me in Bali. And while they were in India, they were like, we're gonna look into some Ayurvedic medicine for you and see if we can bring you back anything for your period pains because Ayurvedic medicine is never a route I've like explored. I've always just taken like ibuprofen, Nurofen. Nurofen Plus is the only thing that like saves me from the pain that I'm in every month. So they bought me this back. It's called Shatayari. Please focus. Shatayari tablets. And so it's just like a herbal medicine that come in tablet form. And I've been taking two every day for about the last eight weeks now and I googled it like what is it supposed to do and it's supposed to reduce period symptoms. I was also suffering with like PMDD so just before my period I was getting like the worst symptoms ever ever. My moods were crazy, my boobs were like massive and swollen and sore, I was emotional, I didn't want to do anything, I felt really depressed and since I've been taking these I just feel like my mood has just neutralized and this is like huge for me. This is like life changing. Um, so the past period I had, yeah, like I said, symptoms were just like really like not there. And I was like, this is really strange for me because I'm having, like I know my period's coming, but I don't feel like it is. And then when I had my period, I only took like two or three Nurofen over two days because the pain has subsided so much. I would say the pain has subsided by like 50%, which, is insane for me because normally I'm in bed for days with a hot water bottle strapped to my stomach and I'm just a mess. But this has made me feel like I can still function as a human with my periods. So like I said, I've only been taking it for about eight weeks. I'm due another period in just a few days time. So I would love to give you guys another update on that period and see if it's any better than the last one. I know that so many of us women are not listened to. We feel like our female health is just kind of ignored, especially when it comes to endo or PCOS. Like I've had, you know, doctors tell me, oh, well, once you have a child, your period pains won't be so bad. And I'm like, cool, that doesn't solve anything in the meantime. Like I don't want to struggle with, with this for the rest of my life. Maybe I won't have children. And so when is this going to be uh, resolved? So I think a lot of us women have to take our health into our own hands, do our own research, whether that's balancing hormones with exercise and diet, or if it's exploring the Ayurvedic route. So yeah, I hope you ladies find this helpful um, and hopefully I can change some of your lives as well. So 
big thank you to mummy and daddy for looking out for me i am really starting to see changes so that's amazing okay guys i think i'm gonna wrap up today's vlog thank you so much for watching as always remember to like and subscribe for more and i will see you next week bye